Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about gated SR latch. Gated SR latch, we can also say it is like a flip-flop with enable pin. Okay, instead of taking the clock signal, we, can, we are just taking enable pin. That's why it is most commonly referred to as gated SR latch. So gated SR latch completely operated with NAND gates. The logic diagram of this gated SR latch is we are having four NAND gates. We are having four NAND gates. Along with the latch diagram, we are connecting two more NAND gates. This is the place where we apply enable input or it may be a clock input. Depends upon the type of the uh, yes sir, whether it is a latch or flip flop. So this is yes, this is R and we are having Q here and Q bar. Okay, simply we can draw this as a block yes R with enable at the center this is the enable pin and this is yes this is r this is q and q bar q and q bar okay q now what should be the operation of this gated sr latch see whenever you are talking about sr latch the outputs are quite common what we have discussed so far but in order to understand this gated SR latch, first we should know what is the output of SR latch alone without having gates, front gates. See, we have already seen in the previous video, NAND gate SR latch, NAND gate SR latch which is an active low SR latch. This particular part we have seen in the previous video with the truth table and its explanation. Okay. The same is extended with two more gates. Those two are NAND gates which are used to control the entire latch. Okay, we can say this is a memory location. We can say the second part is a memory location which is a cross coupled one. And the first part is a controlling one. First part is a controlling one. From the enable pin. Okay, we can call it as a control section. We can call this particular part, the first part is a control section and second part is a memory. Okay, first we should understand what is the output of the truth table of this memory logic. Nothing but a simple SR latch, NAND gate SR latch. Thereby what happens when you add this control section to this memory, then you can understand. Okay, first I am saying about, let us discuss first with the memory location. The memory section involves a NAND gate SR latch. NAND gate SR latch. Already we have discussed that NAND gate SR latch is nothing but an active low SR latch. It is and active low SR latch. Active low SR latch. Active low SR latch. So the truth table of this particular active low SR latch or NAND gate SR latch is truth table of NAND gate SR latch is See, I am completely talking about NAND gate SR latch here because the, we are just discussing the second section. What happens if you add with the first section that I will discuss in the next slide. See, SR 
and the output we are taking it as qn plus 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 Actually, it is an S bar R bar latch. NAND gate SR latch is nothing but S bar R bar latch. It is an act to low latch. That's why all the cases are reversed. So, 0, 0 means it gives an indeterminate state. And 0, 1 means it is set. It is set. And it is reset. And it is no change. Nothing but QN previous state. It is an indeterminate state. Indeterm indeterminate state and it is set and this is reset and this is no change okay remember this particular table is meant for the second section I am talking second section this is for otherwise I will write here on the top this is for second section, memory section. Memory section. Nothing but second section. Okay. But if you go and <coughs> if you go and add the first section, which is nothing but a control section, see till now we have seen this part, memory section. And now we are adding the control section to this memory section. Control section has two NAND gates. Control section has two NAND gates. See, I am not explaining the memory section. Memory section uh, we have already discussed in the previous video. That's why I am uh, skipping that explanation. Okay. If you want, you can go back to the just the previous video. You can identify what is the operation of this one you can observe what is the operation and how we have got these uh, reversal operation of this memory location in the NAND gate operation okay now when we add the control section to this particular memory location how it controls the entire memory location see control section has two NAND gates one input s for the first NAND gate and second input is coming from the enable pin observe clearly what I am saying one input is yes and second input is coming from the enable pin and for the second NAND gate in the control section you are having one input as R nothing but reset pin and one input is enable pin that means both the gates are having one input as enable pin both the gates are having one input as enable pin here the condition is entire flip-flop or entire latch from input to output has a control on this enable pin enable pin is acting as the control pin this is nothing but your control pin control pin what is the meaning of this control pin here control pin means if enable is equal to 1 if enable is equal to 1 operation is as usual operation is as usual as usual means whatever whatever the operation of sr latch works the same operation will be working and if enable is equal to 0 if enable is equal to 0 there is no change in the output no change in the output that means entire operation even if the conditions of s and r in uh, irrespective of the conditions of s and r simply the output is the previous state that is the entire controlling on the enable pin. So enable pin is having that much influence on the entire latch section. Okay. Now see here, if you understand this particular concept, you should know what is the truth table of the NAND gate. Okay. Now I'm telling the control section. Control section. Okay. See. In control section, we have two NAND gates. In control section, we have two NAND gates. One input is common 
for both gates one input is common for both the gates what is that input enable pin what is that input that is enable pin okay let us see the nand gate truth table nand gate truth table is see zero zero okay, a b output y zero 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 one one zero one one in nand gate when both are ones output is zero and the remaining cases output is one now check check what happens if the nand gate is connected with one input as one Okay, if NAND gate, if NAND gate, one of the inputs of the NAND gate is connected. I am drawing a NAND gate here. See why I am all saying all this is if you understand this operation, you can understand that particular uh, latch concept very easy. Okay, one input I am connecting permanently to one. Permanently to one. Okay, I am making A is equal to one. This is A. Let us consider this is A and this is B. Okay, I am taking one input permanently to one. What is the output of the NAND gate? It is the complement of the other gate. See, if the other input is zero, output is one. If the other input is one, output is zero. Simply what is happening? Complement operation is going on. That means whatever we are giving here, whatever we are giving here, X that becomes X bar. Okay, and similarly, when you are taking one of the inputs as zero, if you make permanently one input to zero, then what happens? Irrespective of the other input, output is simply one. Irrespective of the other input, output is simply one. So in our case, in our case, see here, in our case, we are taking a control section as two NAND gates. Okay, two NAND gates like this. Okay, here we have a memory location. Nothing but NAND gate latch. Okay, here it is yes. Here it is R. And now these two pins are connected with enable pin. Okay, with the previous knowledge what we have seen, if enable is equal to zero, if enable is equal to zero, that means one of the inputs of this AND gate is connected to zero. What is the output? Irrespective of the second input, irrespective of the second input, output is one. So irrespective of yes and R, we can say here we will be having one and here we will be having one. So the outputs of the outputs of first two NAND gates, first two NAND gates are ones. Hope you understand this. And similarly, if enable is equal to one, if enable is equal to one means here it is one, here it is one. One of the inputs of this NAND gates is connected to one. If one of the inputs is one fixed, then what is the output? Output is the complement of second input. Output is the complement of second input. So here it becomes S bar. Here it comes as S bar and here it is R bar. So simply it comes as the output is S bar from first gate you can take this as first gate and second gate from first NAND gate and R bar from second NAND gate. R bar, T, R bar is second NAND gate. Hope you understand. See here what happens when S yes is converted to S yes bar and R is converted to R bar, whatever the operations we have discussed here, whatever the operations we have discussed here, all these are reversed now. So 
when we are giving 0 0 at the input and when they come to when we are giving 0 0 and enable is equal to 1 and we are giving 0 0 when they come to the memory location they becomes 1 1 they become 1 1 so 1 1 means what is the operation previous state okay uh, likewise when enable is equal to 1 all the pins are reversed so all the operations are come back to the reversing operation okay so therefore the overall operation of the gated sr latch is explained with the truth table so yes r now enable pin is added and previous state qn qn plus 1 and here it is the state of the output so enable pin let us consider 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 sorry 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 all ones let us consider all these working with enable is equal to 1 that means uh, enable equal to 1 means this operation is going to be performed and when enable is equal to 0 irrespective of the inputs irrespective of the input conditions output is simply no change whatever the previous state we have output is also previous state okay and coming to the remaining operations as I said as I said divide this okay so when enable is equal to 0 I told you already one of the inputs is 0 means the outputs of the first two NAND gates are ones so the outputs of first two NAND gates 1 1 1 1 means the memory location will give you the same data whatever we have stored so 1 1 means no change and when enable equal to 1 when enable equal to 1 the outputs are becoming s bar r bar s bar r bar so the memory location will be having complement of the original inputs complement of original input means here actually in the NAND gate sr NAND gate sr latch here we have got indeterminate state indeterminate state but now it is the previous state 0 1 like this and here we have got set but it is now reset reset is nothing but 0 it is set and here it is now indeterminate state I am not saying the truth table explanation here because we have already completed all these parts. Okay. <clears throat> now it is the no change state. This is reset stays and this is set stays and this is indeterminate state. Okay. This is the truth table of this particular gated latch, nothing but gated SR latch. Okay. Thank you.